Uh, you went first. I never yeah. forget the day you rang me up, and I was like, you going where? Yeah. I mean, it came out of the blue, didn't it? It was. It was. It, sometimes you have to be in the right place at the right time. We, we obviously know the owner of, of Valencia. Me and Gary went out there the season before just for two days, look at the structures of the club, look at the training. I got to know the manager. He seemed to like me and we got on well together. He then, he, he offered me the job. I went out there, changed a life. First time ever away from home. And uh, I've got to say, it was the, the best experience that I've ever witnessed in all my life or ever had the opportunity to do. And November, the manager that took, brought me out there then got the sack. I could have been home. I could have been sacked too. Normally the assistants go with the manager that employs you. I, I was but. lucky. <laughs> I was lucky that Gary came out because it actually kept me in Valencia for another six to eight months because I think I'd have been gone in November if they hadn't have brought Gary out. What was that like working together as a coaching team? I know it came out of the blue, that the managerial mm. opposition, but to have Philip with you. I enjoyed that part, obviously, in terms of seeing, obviously... Phil, kids and your family more. Um, I actually, I miss Valencia as a place. Um, you know, people say, oh, it must have been a really bad experience. You know, the football results didn't go as well as I would have thought. And I feel sad about that because I wanted to do really well for the club, for the owners, obviously, because they put so much faith in us. And that that was the sad thing for me. And it, I loved the, the place. I absolutely loved the experience. And to be fair, it was tough. It was tough in certain ways. Not being able to speak the language, not being able to communicate with people, which is what we do. We communicate with people. You can speak to them. You can, we, it, that was difficult. Having to go through somebody else all the time. I made some mistakes. You know, I don't blame anybody else for what happened in Valencia other than myself. I made mistakes. You know, things that I should have done differently, things that I should have done better, things that I, as probably, you know, my first job in coaching, maybe I wouldn't make again next time, but I'm still, you know, look at those mistakes that I made and think, right, you've got to make sure you don't make mistakes like that in the future when you're in different businesses or different things because there were certain things I should have done better. You know, I I, I made the mistakes in Valencia. I don't blame players. It's easy to blame players all the time. I mean, of course, players are responsible and players need to go and play well. And there were many times where we had one-on-one -on -one chances where we, had, we could have won games mm -hmm. and you think... Oh, if that had gone in, if that had gone in, but then they need to go in and it's your responsibility. It wasn't to a disaster though. It wasn't a disaster, the experience that we went through. I mean, we had some great moments when, you know, beat Bilbao in the court, we beat uh, Rapid Vienna 7-1 at home. We produced some brilliant performances. In fact, if you look at the record now, Gary's higher than probably the last five or six Valencia managers that they got. So it wasn't a complete disaster in terms of the bigger picture, the learning experience. For me as a coach, I've learned more in that, 12 months I had in Valencia than I have probably in, in the last 40 years of my life. It was, it was a privilege to be there, to be honest privilege. with you. I think and the obvious, the obvious question, Gary, is has it put you off? Will you ever do that again? Not managing you, space, just you, manage. You've got to remember that before that, I had had opportunities to go into management and didn't do. Um, so I went, there were special circumstances that I went over to Valencia and also an incredible club, a fantastic mm -hmm. club um, and a big club, huge club. So I think that ultimately, you know, no, I won't go back into co uh, into management or coaching. That, although I said I wouldn't be a broadcaster. <laughs> <laughs> no, you lying to me again. You, know, you, never, you never know. My intention at this moment is never, never to go ever. back into it. Never, but, ever. But my intention before I went to Valencia wasn't to go in it either. That wasn't well, my he plan. Should. He should. Yeah, but it wasn't my plan. Why should he? He's because, lost to the game? Well, because what I saw in them three, four, five months that I saw in Valencia that the communication was a problem, the language, but if in England... Had it been an English-speaking team? Look, I, I think you're talking about someone that could be a top, top manager. That, that's what I saw from the outside, from his assistant, from helping him. You saw someone that was doing the right things every day in, day out, that changed the culture of a club in the space of six months. And not many people can do that. We shall watch this space. You have said never before. No, it won't happen. Okay. <laughs> Is this a break? Uh, Is we'll this a take break? a break. <laughs> when we come back, we'll have a walk over to the uh, analytical